Like you can't even see because the weather is it's so sunny. Like it's not every time that you start talking of snow, snow, snow when you're in Canada. How are you doing today? Welcome to this session. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Dr. Linda, and I'm here to welcome two set of people. The first set of persons are people who just joined. Are you one of uh, the persons that just started following Dr. Linda on Facebook or Instagram or any of my social media handles? I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're watching this live. If you're watching this video as a replay, <laughs> it's a sign you don't have your notification button for my page on. So that anytime I go live, you will actually be notified. All right? So, first of all, uh, today I'm joining you from Canada. <laughs> and, hmm, I know you want to say how the weather is very hot. I'm sure you must have been hearing that Canada is so cold. Canada is so cold. Do you know that Canada actually has, like, majorly four types of weather? So, sometimes it's summer, like now. Summer is hot. Like, the way... The way you say Lagos is hot, or the way you say Accra is hot, right? Uh, hey, Lagos is hot. Uh, uh, Canada is hot like that right now. <laughs> and sometimes uh, after this uh, summer season, we are going to go into fall. Fall is basically dry and cold, so it's not raining, but it's just a little bit cold. Then well, after that, we go into winter. Winter is when you have the snow falling, like will easily look like ice right but it's not ice snow so you have the snow falling of course sometimes the snow turn to ice and <laughs> that's the story <laughs> but that's when you're not here like when you see people well kitted covering their faces and everything that's the winter so uh of course after that we have um like a spring or yeah spring where we have rain it's rain and it's just a little bit cold and a little bit warm, something like that, but it's majorly known with rain, right? Now, most people know Canada with the winter season. So every time they think that when you're in Canada, you just recover yourself. <laughs> no, my dear, right now, these days, eh, I blow AC past you. <laughs> these days. Like, if I practically enter my car right now, it's going to be so hot, I have to turn the AC on. Same thing for the house. You actually have to put it on cooling so that it can actually start cooling the house because it's so hot. It's so hot. In fact, you know what? Let me just take this phone a little bit and, and let me just show you how outside it looks like. It's so, so hot. So, don't be fooled, though. When somebody will start telling you that um, uh, once once the person is in Canada, like, it's cold, cold. Some people will even say they don't want to come to Canada because of the cold. I'm like, how many months do you have the cold, my sister? <laughs> okay, uh, le le let's see what I've said. Hmm, so sunny. I'm even scared. You see how outside it looks like? Like, so. Look at, let's see. You see, it's so, it's so sunny, right? <laughs> so, it's so, so sunny. So, the outside is, is, is very, is very hot. I have to actually go inside so that, <laughs> so that, look at, look at, you see, it's, it's, you can't even see, right? Like, like, you can't even see because the weather is, it's so sunny. Like, it's not every time that you start talking of snow, 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 when you're in Canada. All right, so there are snow days or snow season, right? There are there are snow season. There are uh, there, there is um, snow season is same with winter season. Okay, then you have the summer. That's so summer is like the same way you have your very hot weather. I'm telling you, that's how summer is, my right dear. Hmm. You don't want to play with summer in this country, oh. If you don't even have AC like this which I, who wouldn't have ac but you get what i mean like if you don't put on your ac you will just dry up <laughs> you just dry up so my dear hmm for people that are looking to come to canada please i, I hear people say oh canada is so cold it's so cold 
That is a single story. What the person is not telling you is that Canada has the weather for everybody. I'm telling you. Some days it's so hot, like as hot as Lagos, as hot as Accra. Yeah? And sometimes it's so cold, right? Like the winter season. But if you think about it, the winter season is three months. Three to four months in a year, winter season. Right? But because it's so cold, that's what Canada is, is known for generally. <laughs> so some people would just think that the same way it's cold during winter season, that's how it is all year round. No! The winter season is just three to four months. Then you are going to have the rainy season, three to four months too. Like they all overlap. Then you are going to have the summer season, which is so hot, you have to put your AC on. After that, you're going to fall. Fall is just like, imagine that moment when it's not so hot. But it's also not so cold, right? So that in between. But it is not raining. Meanwhile, spring is the in between, but it is raining. So spring is, it is not snowing, it is not so hot, right? But it is raining. Meanwhile, fall is, it is not snowing, it's not so hot, but it is not raining. Something like that. So if you think about it, like, there is a very hot season and a very cold season. And the seasons in between, right? Now, those two seasons in between, one of them has rainfall, the other doesn't have rainfall. Those are the four seasons you have in Canada. Who understood it? I think I'm speaking too much grammar. Did you understand what I explained? But I think I actually explained it in a way that, it, that makes it easy, easier for somebody to at least understand it. Please, if you understood it, tell me less. Because sometimes there are some people, they, 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 ah, I want to go abroad, I want to go abroad. But when you say, ah, when are you going to come? You see somebody say, eh, I will travel during the winter season. Ah, you don't even know what that means. And also, because if you are going abroad, that means that you are going to be interacting with people. Even when you are writing your email. You know, sometimes some people may not even realize that you don't have the same weather like them. Let's say you are talking to your professor abroad or to a graduate coordinator and you say, Okay, are you looking to start this fall? <laughs> You're like, you don't even know how to ask the professor. Oh God, wait till before. <laughs> Do you mean if I never fall down? You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, you have to understand this lingo. They call it the lingo, right? You have to understand the lingo. So we have... Please, who is ready to come here to explain, come on, come online to explain the four seasons that I explained. Four seasons that we have in Canada. The very cold season and the very hot season. And there is usually a seasons that transition from one, that transition both. Okay? Now, one of those seasons that transition both has rainfall on it, which is the spring. The other season that transition both weather does not have rainfall, which is, they call it the fall. And it, usually, uh, they call it fall because at that point, it's just cold. It's not so cold, right? But it just chill, you know? But the rain is not falling. So the leaves, they just dry up and they start falling. So when you're walking on the street, you see leaves, dry leaves on the floor, right? So that's the fall season. Meanwhile, the spring season, because there's rainfall, what do you expect? You see flowers, they'll blossom right like the flowers we come on the the, the 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 grasses we start growing so you see the spring season look at spring what okay when i say spring let me ask when i say spring what comes to your mind when you hear the word spring what comes to your mind oh yeah tell me when you hear the word spring what comes to your mind tell me tell me let me see when you hear the word spring, what comes to your mind? What comes to my mind is water. The spring season has rainfall, all right? And things will start springing up. Let's put it that way. You see the flowers, they will start coming up. The grasses, they will start coming up, all right? So the spring time has rainfall. So now if you look at it, the very hot season, which is summer. I'm sure you are used to that one. When people start going on summer break, summer break, that's the hot season. And that's because that's when everywhere is dry. So you can easily go to the park. You can easily go to, you know, playground and all those things and have enough time, right? So the summertime, uh, summer, right? The sunshine. The summertime is, is dry, is warm or hot. Too. Some days it's hot. Some days it's just warm, right? But it's not cold. 
Now we have the winter where the snow is falling, you know, and it's so, so, so cold. So right now is summer, which is hot, right? And before we get to the cold phase, there's going to be a transition, which is the fall. So another thing you can use to remember the fall, that is when school resume. Let me ask you, on the, for a new year in your country, a new year, what month? do schools resume for the new academic season is it not august september tell me tell me is it not august september when, when does school resume for the new academic year in your own country i understand that different people watching this are from different countries that's why that's why i'm talking about it so that in case it is not the same when does school resume in your own country is it not around august september new new academic year New academic year, new academic year. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So that August, September, okay, I see some people typing that. August, September, which is when school resume, is tight. That's the fall season. That So that official academic year is the fall season. Fall season. All right? So, and that's around August, September. So the fall season is the season that transitions us from summer, which is the hot time, to what? To the winter which is the very cold time the very cold time is around that december january that's the very cold time december january is very very cold now this is very helpful you know uh yesterday specifically i was reading an article written by a lady and she said if i had known i wouldn't have come to canada during winter she said she came around december i was like oh because if you're coming from a very hot climate, like let's say you are traveling from Ghana to Canada, or let's say Nigeria to Canada, or Cameroon to Canada, hot climate generally to Canada, it's better for you not to come during the winter. I mean, you can come during winter if that is all that is available, if, that, if you don't have a choice. If you have a choice, don't come during the winter because it's so cold, so it's almost like dropping into ice like if you practically come out of the airport you almost run back like <laughs> and you can almost never be prepared for it i'm telling you like see someone said you know canada is going to be cold but trust me you you, you will never know enough to prepare for it except you see the cold you know canada is cold it, think of it this way ah let me Ice for you to get ice, okay. What is the degree? Ice has what temperature? Yeah, the science people here. Ice has what temperature? Tell me how many degrees Celsius is ice? At what degree do you get ice? So, t comment, comment, comment. At what degree you get ice at zero degree, right? Zero degree Celsius. That's ice. Ice now. Do you know why it is snow and not ice? It's not because the temperature has passed zero degrees. So in Canada, you start hearing the temperature is minus 10, is minus 5, is minus, is minus, is minus 10, is minus 5, is minus 25, you know, on bad days, very bad days. What does that tell you? It is cooler than ice. If you put ice on your body now, you know how cold it is. It's cooler. It's cooler like that's the way my brain can you a layman way to explain it please don't take me up on this science this is not what we are doing here we are doing like how do i explain it to you so that you understand like ice is zero but they're not telling you that the place is minus 10 what does that mean that if you actually keep yourself the reason you may not feel it is because our body naturally is warm and when you are in the cold your body will be trying to catch up so it will keep heating you up but what you actually, in reality, if they say something is minus 10, that means it's cooler than ice. You see? You can't imagine it. Can you? You can't imagine it until you feel it. Until you feel it. You can't imagine it. So, so if you are coming to Canada, please don't choose to come. Don't choose to come during winter, except you don't have a choice. Except you don't have a choice. If you don't have a choice, that's fine. There's nothing you can do about it. Or if you are rugged, that's fine. But it's always better to come during the summer time or the fall time. All right, you can come during summer time. Summer time is like now, around June, July, August. 
that's summer all right then or oh, fall is around that kind of um september october towards the end of middle of november something like that all right so if you come anytime within this period at least you can manage to cope and your skin and your body will transition your body will transition into the weather when the cool time comes when the snow comes you'll be able to cope you probably will have had time to buy your winter shoes buy your sweaters and all that but if you come during the winter you have to start spending hundreds of dollars buying winter shoes buying winter coats from the airport because you even find out that the the sweater that you landed with cannot even take you to your house even if it takes you to your house you'll be doing like this <laughs> right like do you know when i was coming to canada in my mind they say canada is going to be cold i'm like and i've traveled though i've traveled i just haven't really met winter before because before i came to canada right i've already traveled i've traveled to us but i went to us during summer uh -huh. I've traveled to uh, Germany because most times if you are traveling abroad, they usually fix those events at summertime. I told you summer is, is dry and warm, so people fix events because people can easily move around, you know? So they fix events during summertime. So if you travel abroad for conference, uh, for a training, chances are that, 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 chances are that your event is going to be fixed during the summertime. Chances are, are, are there that it's going to be fixed during the summertime because they also want a time where people can easily adjust, right? So, if somebody like me, I've been traveling abroad before I came to Canada, I've been traveling abroad, but I've not met winter. So, there was no way for me to prepare for winter in my head. Talkless of Canada winter. <laughs> Talkless of Canada winter, you know? Uh, so, they were like, you need sweater. I was like, ah, sweater, now it's okay. I'll go and buy the sweater. So, because in Nigeria, I said, uh, you know, I don't really wear sweater like that. So, I went to the market <laughs> in Nigeria, in Lagos. <laughs> I went to the market, like, I bought thick sweater in my mind. In my mind, oh, wait, wait, not the Canadian version of thick sweater. In my mind, I was buying thick sweater. So, those things I bought, eh, like... You see, even fall, they couldn't take me through fall. Because I arrived, like, I think August, and I was still cold on top of the sweater that I bought. And this is the sweater I bought for winter. <laughs> this is the sweater I bought for winter. Fall, that is not even really so cold, it's just chill. The sweater could not carry me through. However, I had to go. <laughs> I had to go and start looking for winter clothes up and down. I eat. He was searching his rough. Now imagine that the day I landed, snow was falling. It's going to be tough. Even if you have all the money in the world to buy all the winter clothes in the world, it's going to be tough. So, uh, if you if you choose if you choose to resume winter, well, brace up. It doesn't mean you will survive. You are just going to suffer. <laughs> Do you understand? You are just going to suffer, but you will survive. You, you, you're a rugged human being now. You know, you know you now. You know you are, you are made for this. You're a rugged human being, but I shall be warming up in my room when you be doing like this. <laughs> so, if you have the choice, don't come during winter. My own advice. If you have the choice, don't come during winter. Come during fall. Like, do, uh, around that August September time, that is the best time to come. Uh -huh. Because what I think that's the best time to come. That is most likely when you will have gotten your visa and you're also ready to travel. Because if I say come during summer, there is a chance that by this time you've not gotten your visa, right? Let's say if you're if you're resuming September, you're not you've not gotten your visa. But if you decide to come during January, uh, December, January, let my voice keep ringing in your mind that you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer, <laughs> and you're suffering. You cannot see it coming, you know. It's going to hit you like bulldozer. <laughs> All right, so I just say, let me come here and gist with you, huh? Gist with you, and make you smile a little bit, and talk about the weather lingo in Canada. And as as I showed you earlier when I went out, it's hot. 
everywhere even as i'm here right now i'm sweating even though even though i i have tried to reduce the temperature of the house reduce, i'm still going to go now and make it lower again because it's so hot i'm sure and you know because it's like a it's like a shock so many people don't know that Canada has hot weather too. They always see Canada as that, that very cold place. That very cold place. Please, the cold time is somewhere between middle of November to like middle of February. With the peak being January and uh, uh, December and January. That's the winter peak. So that's the time that we suffer from cold. Every other time, eh, we are suffering from something else. <laughs> All right, take good care of yourself. My name is Dr. Linda Iheme. I'm an educational consultant with Vantage Migration. Myself and my team, we train graduates who want to relocate abroad on how to do that through the study abroad drought. So, if you're new to my page, special welcome, special welcome. Do well to go through all the other posts on this page, on this channel. Go through there, especially the videos. You're going to learn a lot. It's like... I promise you're going to learn a lot. All right, take good care of yourself till I see you again. I told you this is summer, eh? Look at my pink nails. So during summer is like uh, you, everything is bright, bright, bright. Ah, see my pink nails. <laughs> I just saw it when I did it. All right, it's summertime and we're having fun. Don't worry, soon, soon, soon I shall bring you news of. Oh my travel itinerary for the rest of the summer. Oh, 